on the heels of rumors of Halo Infinite being pushed back a year or more and not supporting the Xbox One family, Xbox cross-gen titles also supposedly losing cross-gen support to focus on the X, and even Xbox faithfuls now doubting the no gamer left behind proposal, or a house of cards starting to tumble down, those cards being a lie regarding game scaling and cross-gen support, hmm, let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when I'm dropping these doses. I appreciate all y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason. And y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So, I, I got this, uh, what, what, what do you call that? I have this persona. I like to call him King Petty. <laughs> and King Petty has on, been on a world tour. And every time we think the tour is starting to come to an end, I, I, I get I get booked for more cities. I get booked for more for more uh, showcases, right? Now, what is who is King Petty? Why is he here? King Petty is here because he is the personification of everything I've been telling y'all since I started my stint on YouTube in 2007. Everything that y'all huckled and chuckled at, everything that y'all said, Moss, you crazy, shut the hell up. All that stuff is now coming to fruition. I've been telling y'all this. And all the same stuff y'all now wanna hang y'all heads on and say, oh man, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do next. King Petty's here, baby. Because while y'all was laughing, retweeting, got the memes, got the smiley faces, I was just sitting back chilling with my, my country time lemonade, baby. Just sitting back chilling. Like that meme with Andre 3000 sipping his tea and holding his gun. I was just waiting and chilling to pop off these shots. And now it's time. Now what's the next shot to be popped off? It's in regards to this whole scaling up and down thing that no gamer left behind debacle, right? Now, I want to be very clear on this before we get into any meat and potatoes today. I want to make it very, I want to be very upfront and make it paramount that it's known that everything that I'm talking about right now is rumors. It hasn't been substantiated, even though the reason why that I'm reporting on it is because we're seeing a big sway in public sentiment regarding this. And this is something that I've been warning about for a very, very long time. Now, what's going on here for those that have been living under a rock? Well, it appears that for all intents and purposes, the whole scale up, and the whole scale down theory that was presented by Microsoft when people were asking, hey, this whole gamer left behind, no, no gamer left behind theory by Microsoft where they said, you know, they're not gonna have any exclusive titles to the Xbox Series X or the Series S if that's ever released, that everything is gonna be cross-gen because there's gonna be no gamer left behind. We then asked, well, hold on, it's never been done before. And isn't that gonna be a problem because the older hardware is going to hold back your capabilities on the newer hardware. And time after time, time after time, y'all told me to shut the hell up. That I didn't know what I was talking about. All right. That I was suffering from some type of gas leak that I wasn't aware of before I left out in the morning. All types of crazy stuff. All right. So let's go to the story. Let, you know how we do. Let me show you something. All right. So here is... <laughs> my tweet that highlights the current climate on all this stuff. I said, Phil clearly lied to you. Are you going to demand answers and better from the platform or are you going to cap and say he was only talking about graphics in some games? Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about when Phil Spencer came out and said, cross-gen development won't hold back the Xbox Series X. You know what I'm saying? Period. Then we had Phil Spencer say Xbox Series X being held back is a meme created by console war obsessives. There goes, a, <laughs> there goes a nice little snippet of our friend Phil Spencer as he's revving up for these lies. Now, why do I say it's a lie? Even though I said earlier, 
it's uh, it, it's a rumor about stuff being delayed and stuff being changed around. Well, it's a lie because we've heard from various sources, all right, that that's not true. That we have various accounts of where it can hold back, um, where you know older hardware can hold back aspirations that you try to do in a game. Prime example is Guerrilla Games with Horizon Zero Dawn. They wanted flying to be in it, but because of the hard, because uh, of the older hardware and its limited capabilities, they can't do it. They said they had to save it for Horizon Zero Dawn 2. So in all likelihood, when that game releases on PlayStation 5, you will see what flying. Okay older when you got to develop for older hardware it creates limitations you can't just scale that up and scale that down now people refer to uh what's that game shadow of war with with, with its its war engine but i don't know i can't even remember the name of the damn engine they excluded it out of that the the um older version of the game for the 360 i think it was and for the xbox one they included it i believe that's how it worked that's that, but, but that's development. That's not just scaling up and scaling down. That's they they made two totally different iterations of the game. That's what that is. Two totally different iterations. You know what I'm saying? And that's not what is being proposed here. They're making one game, and they're upraising that game for the 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 more powerful version. But you're essentially getting the exact same game. You're getting a little bit more upraised, probably some more frames under this no gamer left behind proposal. And that was told to us as being no, no, in no way, shape, form, or fashion limiting what you could do. That was a lie, all right? Now, to help cement that this was a lie in everybody's minds, we've had these rumors come out. Rumors that talked about that, hey, you know, Halo Infinite could get pushed back, all, you know, a year or more, you know, because of that bad showing that it had. And not just graphically, but just to, just to tweak some things, make it performance-wise, level design-wise, whatever the case may be, they may hold it back because they realize that, yeah, developing for the Xbox One held back too much. Maybe not so much on just pure resolution, but just on some things that could be done graphically or 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 um, fidelity wise, some things. You know, there are some examples that were given that because of uh, um, what do you call that? The the, the 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 depth ratio, and I know I'm butchering it. I'm not a technical bibble babble person. You know what I'm saying? But how far distance? You know how far you can see in the distance. That because it's limited on the Xbox One family that they'll probably put up a mountain or a tree in that area to where if it was solely divine for, de, uh, developed for the Series X, they wouldn't have to do that. That the, the, that the uh, distance would be great on the Series X, and if it's developed for the Series X, they ain't got to put up that mountain or a tree to hide the fact that it can't, you know, go well, well deep in, in, in as far as distance is concerned. You know, those are just some of the things that we've heard. With that being said, just some of the basic common sense nature of game development that just even at the gumshoe level yes of course developing for older hardware is going to hold back newer games i mean what triple a games do you know goes back to uh seven year old hardware that says the seven year old hardware is part of the minimum specs no if you're making a rinky dink or double a game or, or an indie game a small indie game yeah you could go back maybe even 10 15 years maybe for crying out loud but seven years for a big ticket triple a game hell no all right and that sentiment was echoed finally by ryan mccaffrey of ig and one of the biggest xbox fans known to man people may not like a lot of his rhetoric you know in the earlier xbox one days but he is a fan of the platform can't take that away from the guy he clearly says this i was wrong to drink the current gen won't hold next gen back kool-aid i've talked to enough people now it makes sense for games for some games but not triple a system seller kinds of big budget productions cut bait on the whole hardware i want to see the new stuff what the new stuff can do and then he follows up with it sounded good on paper does it not sound familiar haven't we sent that here it sounded good on paper but not in the real world so bada boom bada bing 
there it is all right now this set the world ablaze even ryan mccaffrey and, and this is coming after him sitting down with uh destin L Ligari on the show and destin saying oh yeah you can just scale up and scale down pcs do that and i remember listening to that and i'm like destin come on you're better than this this is you know we're talking about top of the line at triple a games stuff has to be cut out when you're going that far back with that limited of hardware you know better than this destin and it was only a matter of time for it to come out and now it has and i'm glad that ryan has come to to, to understanding this now with that said there's been a lot of sentiment on youtube there's been a lot of sentiment on twitter and just one of them come from Red Dragon, where he says, "I've, sa I've as I've said, PC games do scale to a point, but there's a cutoff to where people are eventually left behind if they don't upgrade, and the game will run like ish." Xbox One was underpowered when it released in 2013. How many PCs from 2013 could run Flight Simulator? Exactly. If you're going to aim for the biggest bells and whistles, you're not going with old hardware, and you're not going with old hardware that's very limited as the original Xbox One would have been case made by Red Dragon. Now, with all that said, and all that common sense now being ran over, we got some people out there that just that they can't handle the truth. They can't handle the truth. As I illustrate here in this tweet, our good friend Delirious Lily was asked simple on multiple occasions to think over his position on scale up, scale down before continuing to hit the airwaves and spreading hocus pocus. He balked at it. Now millions fooled later, he out here looking like the Dark Rivers me. And let me show you the tweet where we already showed you where Ryan McCaffrey said he was wrong for, for drinking the Kool-Aid. Delirious Lily says, oh wow, hope you can elaborate on this more. Curious to hear the change in thinking and why. And then a dev had to follow up and say, well, because he's realized that it's true. When you have time, when you have to develop for cross-generational consoles, you have to develop with a lower tier in mind, a Jaguar APU will hold back. Sincerely, a dev. I think it was a Doc Rivers mean just again. <laughs> now, Mr. Lilly has been the target for much ire. Many of it from PlayStation faithfuls because they don't like the things that he's said about Xbox. But I, I, I will also beckon that just general gamers don't like what he said because it's like he, he was trying extra hard, like he had an agenda to promote Xbox and some of the most ridiculous mannerisms possible it's like they, they were paid i don't know I'm, i mean again i don't know but that's the perception like he was getting paid or he was promised something it's just like it didn't make his rhetoric did not make sense and now that he's backed up against the wall and he can't claw his way out he's starting to backtrack on a lot of that bibble babble but again not after millions and millions of gamers have been fooled after the fact okay now you got my homie Porter Rock out there exposing these same people. <laughs> he got the receipts. And they look silly and these people have ran off in head. They have been led astray because of prominent voices like Mr. Lilly's. Now, defenders of Mr. Lilly may say, MM2K, what are you talking about? You're full of bullpucky. It's never been said. Let me show you something. Here's just one of the various tweets that I've personally been involved with along with actually calling the show that this individual is on, Gamertag Radio, and saying, look, and I've done it in a cordial way. Look, you might want to rethink this because you're out here. I love you guys at the time. I love you guys. I love what you do. You're very entertaining, very talented, very charming. But at the same time, at the core of what you say on the airwaves because it crosses the millions, it has to be factual. And something just don't jive here. Help us. Help us free us. <laughs> and I went to, 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 to them on multiple occasions. Now, as proof, as a receipt, here's a, 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 a thread that was started off where we were talking about possible prices for Xboxes going into next generation. And he gave some prices. And really, on the price point, he might somewhat be accurate. I don't know. I, I, I differed and gave my opinion and then somebody had chimed in and said well 
if the Xbox Series X is 600, that's going to be a no go. So that's not going to fly. And I said, well, you would hope not. But I'm trying to wrap my head around the purpose of the Lockhart. Who wants a 2K Max capable machine when everyone else is talking 4K unless you're in need of a cheaper option? And at the time, and still, you know, relevant now, to me, that's where the Series S would make sense. If you got to have a cheaper option because the X is just going to be too damn high if the rent's too damn high. Um, now, somebody responded. You do realize that PC developers have to have a million different configurations to count when making, but four to five different consoles are confusing. And I said, that's three to four more atypical when developing for a console, an entirely, an entirely new unit at launch. And the person responded, laugh out loud, that's not how it works, but they've been exposed. I'm not going to tag them. I'm not going to tag them. And so then, Mr. Delarius responds, the consoles themselves will share the same architecture. So from OG Xbox One to Series X, devs will just scale the hardware to spec for resolution, frames, etc. I said, okay, absolutely, but weren't devs originally concerned with developing for multiple schools at launch? Hence, were the concerns of them scaling up easier to do opposed to scaling down? Or was that just a rumor? I'm like, Paris or Mr. Delarius don't don't have short-term memory we just saw articles where people were like if you're going to have multiple schools and you're going to confuse things too much for us we're going to develop from the lowest common denominator and scale up and Xbox originally didn't want that so they were contemplating not even releasing the S at first that's why they said we're only talking about one console but it sounds like they decided to go with the S after all he says, the point that is similar to developing for PC is valid. In this case, same architecture, just various levels of hardware. So the games just scale up or down. So scaling up or scaling down is the solution. <laughs> I even tried to be cordial and say, sorry for many questions, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? It, it doesn't even matter anymore because like I said, by all intents and purposes, all that is being thrown to the wayside. Point being, you can't listen to the mainstream gaming media. Look, look at it. The mainstream gaming media at first tried to tell you that it was so you could just scale up or scale down, and then they had to admit that they didn't know what the hell they were talking about. So they're not drinking the Kool-Aid. It ain't about drinking no damn Kool-Aid. Know what the hell, do your due diligence. Know what the hell you're talking about before you hit the airwaves and you trick and you give millions of unsuspecting gamers wrong information is that too much to ask for i guess it is so the the point in all this is look y'all don't just put on your favorite youtuber don't even go to the mainstream media any information that you come across if you want to be educated do some due diligence research it bounce cross it against people with ulterior points of view because there's always some out there and if it makes sense to you the ulterior point of view look into that even more these mainstream media and these youtube people are just here for entertainment they do not care about serving you correct information they have an agenda and their agenda is either your clicks or you being tricked and that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below. Because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the broadband bullies. PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadium Dosage. And with all that said, you all have a wonderful gaming day. Peace.